Hey everybody, today is going to be kind of controversial. Comments below. Keep them safe, keep them clean. Certification. Which ones should you pay for? Which ones do you not really need? Before I get started, my name is Chris. This is Just Keep Scuba Diving. Scuba Diving on a budget where I try to help you save money and enjoy the sport of scuba diving at the same time. Saving money part today is going to be certifications. Do you really need to spend the money for a certain certification? Yes or no. That being said, I am not an instructor. I am not working for any certain specialty. I am a paddy diver. I love paddy. I just understand there's some things they're charging for that I just don't understand why. I don't understand. That being said, also, I have paid for courses that people think you shouldn't pay for. You hear people all the time, you shouldn't pay for this course. You shouldn't pay for that course. You shouldn't really, truly shouldn't. All right, so look at where they're coming from. I love the gentleman over at Divers Ready. I really do. And he probably has a dive support group, a phenomenal dive support group. I see him with different divers all the time. And so he can go up to somebody if he doesn't if he doesn't know it by now. You understand, a lot of these people who say you don't need to pay for these classes come from years of experience. Why do I pay for that class whenever I do that all the time? They've got their support group. You don't. Not as a new diver, not yet. Also, I am coming from a place of, I can't just go jump in a pool. I wished I could. My closest pool that I can go jump in one time a month, 45 miles away. One time a month, Jesus Sea Ventures. My other pool that allows scuba diving that I could go and pay $100 a year for, four hours away or three hours away. But I love those people. That's the reason why I pay for that. I don't have that ability of going down to the bridge or the Blue Heron. Oh, I'd love to do the Blue Heron Bridge. But anyway, I don't have that ability to do that. Whereas the people who you hear say don't pay for this one or don't pay for that one or don't pay they probably have friends that they can say hey man how did you do that really show me and you learn i get that i i get that and i respect that a whole lot let's start with what you should pay for absolutely pay for anything that advances your diving career absolutely pay for anything they're going to ask you a card for watch divers ready on this and you see he and i are agreeing on things if they ask you for a card for nitrox you better have it otherwise you ain't diving it. if you don't have an advanced open water card you're not diving that 100 foot ramp if you don't have that tech card you're not diving it you're not no operator should let you go out on the water without the certifications you need to have or not having a guide dive guide professional dive guide to go with you recreational side open water diver of course absolutely advanced open water diver yes because it's a continuation of the open water diver yes you should it also allows you to dive a lot of these wreck sites that you can't you, know, you can't go do the you, you can't do the risk any without being advanced open water diver and you got to have two computers now the next thing is nitrox yes they're going to ask you for that card for your certification yes to refill those tanks yes so that's one rescue diver will they ever ask you for a rescue diver card i don't know i'm not there yet but that's my next step because I want to go pro. So I want to go professional. I think certain jobs require you to be a rescue diver at the minimum. Then there's dive master, of course, and instructor, of course. Photography. Well, are they ever gonna ask you for your photography card? I mean, honestly, that being said, and I'm gonna use the guy from Dive Mat Divers Ready. He makes a good statement. He is photography certified. He can train you in photography, but his pictures are crap because he doesn't go through that every day. But at the same time, him and a photography fan friend could go diving and go, let's do that. Cool. Show me. You just got trained for nothing. So that's where people go on kicks about not being trained. Peak performance buoyancy. I'm mixed on this one. If you're having a hard time getting your buoyancy down, even as an open water diver, that should be one of your very first things that you get. I'm even going in for advanced open water. If you don't have your buoyancy down, you are not going to be enjoying your dives, period. Everybody goes, well, you know, whenever you leave, when you leave your open, well, you should have your buoyancy down. Well, some people don't. Or the gear that you used on the diving site, the, the school, is not the gear you find out on the, that you're comfortable in. What happened with Tammy and I is, yes, we did the peak performance buoyancy class because I could not get her buoyancy down, help her get her buoyancy down, Pat, period. We did wrist, we did ankle weights, we did tank weights, we did everything everything down so she actually got to sit down two dives three dives two dives ray and her i mean he i did it too so he adjusted me saw that i had my trim down 
worked me through the course, did great. He worked with her, an instructor worked with her one-on-one -on -one for a long time. And I can't commend him enough for the patience he had working with her to get her balance down. Finding out, you know, there were some things that it wasn't her. It was the best that she was in, or not the best, but the BC she was in, the type of BC. And see, what you train in and what you buy can be two different things. Again, so I mixed emotions on peak performance buoyancy. Boat dive and shore dive. Well, are there any other types of diving? You get me that certification that, you know, jumping out of an airplane to a dive spot. Oh, I'm in on it. But boat dive and shore dive. True. The entry techniques are different than regular diving. Did I say that right? So entry techniques are different. You have to walk backwards when walking through the waves. Know where I heard that? Open water course. You have to be careful when you roll out of the back, make sure you clear. Know where I heard that? Open water course. Everything that I think you learn, everything that I think you learn in boat dive and shore dive is in the open water course. Your navigation about currents taking you down the, down the, down the shore, entry points, exit points, um, all that. It's in the open water course. Do I think I need to spend another $150 to learn it, to go through that? Not necessarily. Rescue diver, yes, absolutely. Now, if you want, if you're doing this because you want to be a master diver, not dive master, master diver, and you get that little master diver certification, and that's what you want to do, great. Do those courses. Peak performance buoyancy, photography. The reason why I would recommend photography is because it works on your buoyancy. So you're getting everything out here, which helps, helps with your buoyancy. A lot of people swim like this. I don't realize they put their hands out. That'll roll them down just like they need to be. Get the trim straight. And, and all of those, look at it and say, does this benefit me in any other way? Am, am I going to be asked for a card or does this benefit me? Are you going to ask for your Master Diver card? No. Nah. But can you say how many you put on there? What's your rating? Master Diver. Cool. I had saw a Master Diver that never what, never dove once in the ocean. Not one time. I think they were from Michigan or someplace. But they were a Master Diver. Like I said, those are my comments. Those are my thoughts. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe button. Leave me some messages below. What do you think? I mean, I, Patty is, of course, a group that is going after money. They have to make money just like everybody else. I get it. Nowie, Patty, SSI, that, all of them. Are all of those certifications necessary? All those cards necessary? Don't leave any hate mail. Don't leave anything hatred down there. Because if you do, I will delete you. But tell me what you think. I mean, let's get this conversation started. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe button. Oh, yeah. Guess what? Teespring. Have a good day. Just keep scuba diving. Scuba diving on a budget.